money, I'm revving. Great, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Be two fighting series fans, this amateur bantam weight battle is set for three rounds at three minutes apiece. First, fighting out of the B2 digital blue corner. Tonight, in the B2 fighting series cage, making his amateur debut. His height, five feet, seven inches. His weight, 133 pounds. He trains with Team Manu out of Miami, Florida. And his name is Chris Hafro Samurai Harris. And his opponent in the one more gym red corner. With a record standing at one win, two losses, one draw. His height, five feet, six inches. His weight, 130 pounds. He trains with Black Orchid Martial Arts and X3 and comes to you from Atlanta, Georgia. His name is Marcus Morisuna Page Jr. All right, Christy Afro Samurai Harris in the white and pink Tiger Muay Thai shorts, Marcus Page Jr. in the black tights, third man in the cage, referee Rob Mooney. And this bout's on. Harris coming. Ooh, through the one, two. That was a hard left hook right there. A little, a little kind of an overhand left. Yeah, Marcus Page taking the Ooh, center right away. Ooh, good kick by Chris Harris. Beautiful job. Marcus Page stalking, big thing is, misses is, for Chris Harris. Right, Marcus kind of blocked that kick, but the thing is, man, it, that wears and tears on them forearms after a while. Ooh, good kick. Ooh. Marcus Page moves yeah. it out of the way, throws the big left hand behind it. Oh, big left hand lands again for Marcus Page. Marcus Page finding a home for that left hand early on in this first round. Right, and Chris is eating them, man, but he can't eat too many of them. Good knee by Marcus Page. Steve, we talked about he likes to pressure up against the cage. Oh, big head kick Ooh, he blocked almost. by Marcus Page. Good timing. And Chris Harris winging these shots, throwing big shots early in this first round. Yeah, he, he, and, you know, it's just because this is his first time, man. He's excited. He'll, he'll look back on that and be like, man, I need to set my stuff up a little bit better. Good wrestling and scrambles yep. right here from Chris Harris. But we talked about that, right? He wrestled in high school. We knew he was going to have a little bit of wrestling. Good job. Up to almost full mount now. Marcus Page gives up his back. Standing up. Chris Harris doing a good job dragging Marcus Page backwards. Marcus grabbing the cage to prevent that, but nonetheless, Chris Harris secures the back now. Very good position right now for Chris Harris. It's kind of loose. Marcus needs to turn into him. If he would turn in, he, he could probably be in Chris's guard, which would be better with Chris having your back. But that was a great takedown by Chris. He had a good scramble. He's looking for the rear naked now. Starting it's to under threaten the chin. That's underneath the chin. That's underneath the chin. Does he have this choke locked in? A, a, a difficult angle right here. And this camera looks like Marcus Page is doing a good job of fighting the hands. I don't think this is in all the way right now yet. But Chris this Harris is working to improve this. Marcus is doing everything right, and he's fighting the hands. But I believe it's underneath it. It's right there. It's very, very close underneath the chin. But Marcus is staying calm. He's yep. not freaking out. He's fighting the hands. And Chris, you know, he's working. He's not really trying to force anything. Very impressed with Chris Harris in his amateur debut. I mean, uh, a big brawling stand-up bout to start, and then Chris Harris just gets a takedown and really dominating the ground so far. He is. I mean, great takedown, great transition to the oh, mouth. Oh, this is underneath taking, that's hard underneath now. Is. If, He's if Chris Harris is able to it. get this, his right hand behind the head of Marcus Page Jr., Marcus is going to be in all kinds of trouble. Marcus doing the right thing right now. He's controlling the right hand of Chris Harris. And as you said, Andy, look how comfortable Marcus Page is in this, I mean, Really the worst spot that he could possibly be in in MMA. And, and Marcus looks like he's okay, actually. He's okay. I mean, it's underneath. I mean, it's, it's, it's close. But the thing that's only preventing Chris from getting this submission, like you said, is, is Marcus Page is controlling the right hand. And that's really helped him out in this round. Yeah, two on one all day long for Marcus Page Jr. on that right hand of Chris Harris. He but, knows if he lets that hand go, it could be over for him. But, you know, even that body triangle, being in that body triangle for, for a minute and a half, man, that's uncomfortable as heck, too, you know. So... Very impressed with Chris. Yeah. And, and you know what? We saw that Chris has got a chin on him, too. Absolutely. Marcus Page landed some big shots in that first round. He, he did, man. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I tell you this. Two fights ago, Marcus Page would have freaked out yes. in that situation. Yes. He got rear naked choked. He was calm. 
He listened to his coach. He was doing everything the right the right way. And that the little bit of growth that we're seeing, that's what I like about everything. Yes. After is watching these guys grow, man. Watch, watching them from one fight to the next. He's already showing his maturity. He's only 18 years old. He's got four. I think he's one, two, and one. Yes. I think it was wrong until the tape. He's one, two, and one. But to have that many fights already and just got out of high school, yes. I mean, that's, I mean, come that's on. amazing. And on the other side of the coin, it defeats the digital blue corner, Chris Harris. You talked about being excited to watch a fighter's growth. Chris Harris looks great in his amateur debut against a fighter with, with his sixth fight. Right. And if I was in his corner, I'm telling him, hey, you did great. But you know what? Set up that jab. Use, use, your, use your reach. We already know that you're going to control the ground. I would go back to the ground. I, I mean, you know. I would as well, but uh, you know how these guys are. They come out, they want to they dominate pain. the feet. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what you see a lot here. Right away, Marcus Page running out, controlling the center. Chris Harris circling. Page reaching. Man, his left Page hand. Oh, the left hand landed. And Marcus Page going crazy. And Just here we wrestling. see again. Yep, double unders, wins for Chris Harris. And Page doing everything he can to get out of this position. But Chris Harris all over him right now. Man, I'm going to tell you, he said he only wrestled two years in high school. I'm like, man, he's looking pretty good he's as He's looking wrestler. doggone good yeah. for, for somebody who only wrestled for two years in high school. And But as you said, Andy, he's representing Team Manu, a, a world-class team. So there's no teller what you're going to get when when you have someone out of a gym like that. No, not at all. I mean, both of these guys, you know, they train with top, top athletes, multiple UFC fighters in, in both camps. Oh, he's got a little Case little of Katami bulldog. here yeah. for Chris Harris. If he could trap that arm right there, he could get that arm bar with the leg. Marcus Page Jr. trying to off-balance Chris Harris, push him one way or the other. It doesn't work out for him. Chris Harris finishes him full mount. Harris doing a good job of peppering shots, and now this now choke that's is underneath. tight. He doesn't have yes. anything, but the angle, good he's fine. Marcus is a good. He turned into it. Great job. I'm a good scramble going out the up back on door. Single leg here. And Marcus Page up right, now, and controls the now, center. Now Marcus has got a con he, he, look. He's looking for that home run shot. The yes. home run shot will come, man. You got to pepper. Ooh, and there you see again Marcus he, Page ripping big shots, but he's the, as we mentioned, the length of Chris Harris is just so much. Yeah, that, that was close right there. Yeah. Bob Mooney warned him about the need to – but he stopped himself. He saw – he was like, ooh, it was right there. I, he wanted it. Yeah, he's, he maybe <laughs> perhaps let Chris Harris know, hey, man, if, if this was the streets or we were pros, this it, is this could over. be it. Yeah. But, of course, this is amateurs in the state of Tennessee. They don't allow Oh, Good uppercut by Chris Harris just then. Marcus Page ate it like a champ. And we and again, man, we've seen some, some good shots land from Marcus Page. The chin of Chris Harris is good to go so far. Chris Harris – Rushing forwards now with shots of his own. Right, but it only takes one. You know, Chris Harris has got to stop when he when he's pursuing Marcus. He's raising that chin up. Right, we call it walking the stairs. Yes, he's got to stop doing that because Marcus does have knockout power, man. And he's he's landed that overhand left a few times. Good body shot by Marcus Page. A good one too by Chris. See, that's where Chris needs to live right here, man. He, he's got that five inch reach advantage. He needs to live on here. The one twos, double up the jabs. Go back to that body kick. Once you start working the head, go back to that body kick that was landing for you in the first round. Ooh. Ooh, right hand lands for Chris Harris. Chris that Harris pushing forwards now. Marcus Page doing a good job of circling out and returning with shots of his own. He's just not close enough. Ooh, Chris Harris ripping that. a big shot. No, no, Chris Harris got hit with oh, that punch. Big. That rocked him. And Chris Harris dives for this single leg. He heard the 10 minute, or excuse me, the 10 second warning. He says, yeah, I'm going to get off of my feet right now. Marcus Page doing a good job of I would love to see the, the back. I, I wish we could have the replay on that because I believe that was a little sneaky little hook that caught Chris Harris that kind of rocked him right before the round ended, right before the 10 second bell hit. If you watch, it looked like he slipped if you weren't paying yes. attention, but I think there was a sneaky little right hook that landed for Marcus Page right then. But Nonetheless, it wouldn't be enough, in my opinion, to secure the, the round for Marcus Page. I think I would probably give the second round to Chris Harris as well for the takedown. So. You know what? Every weekend, I agree with you more and more, Acker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would hate to be a judge, but I really do oh, agree yes. with you on that. I feel like Marcus does need to get – the second round was much better for him, but he does need to get the finish, to, I, I think, to get the dub over here. Chris Harris has done great. He's breathing hard. He's just got to last this one round and not get caught with nothing stupid. I agree. I think if Chris Harris is able to survive this third round, he's probably walking out of here one and zero. Marcus Page Jr., in my opinion, probably needs to finish this fight to walk out of here victorious. Yep. But again, we say we so don't ever know. Yeah, I'm thankful I'm not a judge. 
Third and final round here in our opening performance of the evening. Touch of the gloves here. Marcus Page Jr. controlling the center right away. Chris Harris moving backwards. See a rear Chris kick and a right hand from Chris Harris. Look at Chris's hands. They're down. He's got to keep them. Like, he's got a really nice one, too. In the body shots there, the body kick. He's just got to He's got to set that body kick up. Ooh. Ooh. Chris Harris doing a good job. He that catches the counter. kick and throws the right hand straight down the pipe. Very good stuff from the Afro Samurai. Ooh, good one, too, by Chris Harris. Good head movement from Marcus yes. Page, but Chris Harris just coming straight downhill on top of Marcus Page right now. Knee to the body for Marcus Page, and the left hand lands. Oh, oh that hurt him. That yeah, left, left hand, hand lands hurt. again. It rocked him. This could be Marcus Page's moment. We just talked about that. He, man, that left hand, Marcus Page has found a, left, that, a home for that left hand this whole fight. Chris Harris very wisely tying up Marcus Page, recognizing that he was in some trouble. Gaining his his ability to breathe and think for just a moment, tying up Marcus Page there. Good point, man. I love Chris Harris's one twos. Man, just Chris. straight in the pockets. Of, look, you see the face of Chris Harris. He's hurting, but he's a warrior. He's pushing through in this third round. He is, man. And look, man, he's got a jaw on him for sure. Oh I mean, man, most guys would have been out, and he's. He, I mean, it rocked him. It's hurt him a few times, but yes. he's, he's recovered very well, and that shows his conditioning, right? And and he's so tough. He's. Taking these shots, not only taking them and not going down, but pushing forwards after he takes big shots right. for the most part. He's tired. Yeah, he put oh, a big good. shot to the body from Marcus Ooh. Page. That, that was right below the liver on that. See, look, man, if Marcus Page would, 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 would set up the jab, right, would double up the jab and then throw that overhand left, he might be able to penetrate it because Chris's hands are down. He's breathing hard. He's tired. It's his first fight. But – Chris Harris is doing the right thing. He's he's hugging on him. Yes. And, and he's making Marcus carry his weight. And he's rested. Oh, good takedown. Beautiful job. And with that, Chris Harris secures a takedown in all three rounds of this bout. One minute remaining. Chris Harris on top. He could potentially cruise to a decision victory here. Full mount. Right, is he going to accept a decision victory? Or does he want to finish this fight? Look, he's trying to finish. Marcus has got, yep. I would, that's exactly what I would have done, too. Give him his back. He's going to turn back in. Watch the back of the head. Man, I tell you, Rob. Rob Mooney, one of the best in the man, game. he's good. He sees everything. Yeah, and, of course, we have Rob Mooney and Bobby Wanbacker here as our referees tonight, two of the best that we could possibly get. And Chris Harrison full mount here. Just chilling, 30 seconds remaining. Marcus did a good job, and he brought his posture back down. Chris was really starting to plan some big shots, and uh, that's exactly what Marcus needs to do. But Marcus cannot sit here, man. It's time to go. It's go time. He's got to try something. He can't just lay here and let this round eke out. With, with 12 seconds left. 10 seconds remaining in the third and final round. Chris Harris looking like he's on his way to the decision victory. Mounts up, postures up and throwing good shots. Putting a stamp on the end of this third round, Chris Harris. And that's what they teach you, man. That's right. That's what they teach you. Last 10 seconds left, you go for broke. And that's exactly what Chris Harris did. He looked great. I guarantee you his second fight coming out, he's gonna look even better. There's a there's a lot of great things that I saw out of that fighter tonight. Absolutely. And also, there was some good things with Marcus Page. Man, he's young. He's gonna go back to the drawing board. He's got a great coach in, in, in Coach Rico, and and the guys and, and, and the girls at, at X3. He'll be back better than ever. But uh, I was really impressed with uh, Brian with his, with his wrestling tonight. Absolutely. And you know, if Marcus Chris Page Harris, does sorry. if Marcus Page does walk out of here one and three like we think he will, he's gonna be. One, the best one in three that you could possibly find. I mean, it, it's unlucky. These these decisions are not just not going the way of Marcus Page. But, man, he's skilled. He's talented. He's he's just not putting it together fully. But he will. And, and you know yes. what? Yes, and that's it, what amateur's about. Right, right. It's about the experience. And, and that's the thing. He's getting all this experience. And that experience is priceless. And he's 18. And he's 18 years old, man. I mean. He's got a great gym. He, he, as you said, He's a great young man. He's tough. He comes out and he fights hard. Yep. It just hasn't gone his way just yet. Um, you know, I think if I were judging, I would probably score this one for Chris Harris as well. Um, but, man, I can't wait to have both Chris Harris and Marcus Page back with us. Oh, yeah, 100%. But you know how it is like with Marcus, right? One day it's just going to click with him. Yes. Like, yes. man, stop throwing. You know, there, there was a lot of punches that he threw that weren't technically sound. He was right. just throwing the throw. But he's a dog. He's, he's, a he's dog. come in he to is. knock you out and yeah. not much else. And that's it. And that's yes. okay. But he will learn to be that complete fighter to set up things and, and take your time and not always look for the overhand left. It seemed like to me that's the only thing he looked for tonight was that overhand left. Agreed. But he'll be back. Chris Harris did an amazing job. 
and he's got to get the dub. I don't know what's taking so long with the judges. Yeah, it, I mean, as long as we get it right, it's okay. And I, I think Chris, the Afro Samurai Harris, is going to walk out of here 1-0. Um, and Marcus Page Jr. just chilling. Chris Harris just chilling. And our cage announcer, Lance Green, has got those scorecards. We are going to figure out who has won this bout. Is Chris Harris going to walk out of here 1-0 like we think? Let's find out now. Here's the cage announcer, Lance Green. B2 Fighting Series fans, at the end of three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges. Our first judge sees this 29 28. Our second judge, 30 27. Our final judge, 30 27. Your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Chris Afro Samurai Hair. Chris Afro Samurai Harris move into one and oh. With the same ones that was down from the jump day one. Same ones been around when the ain't funds even got love for fake ones that changed up like they break one. 